Hello, hello, hello. This is very unprecedented. But um, <laughs> I took myself out for a late lunch today and I thought, you know what? It's right around the corner. I'm going to stop at Five Below because I found so many really cool things when I was there. Maybe they've got new stuff in. Maybe they got that um, wooden lap desk thing that I wanted, which I really don't need it because I already have one. <laughs> but I just want to see what it looks like. Maybe I could put it on my desk and have, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what they did have that I forgot to buy? It was uh, the little, um, you put you put your painting on it, little A thing. I forgot the words. Anyways, <laughs> I got another haul. They've got some really cool stuff. And I said, you know what? Um, I'm going to try it out. Why not? You know, um, I packed away all my art stuff. Not all of my art stuff. But I've been packing away a lot of it. Now i got more stuff to pack. But at least I can... And this this is kind of like stuff that maybe I can play with when I'm watching TV. So, first thing that I got was this gel pen. 60 gel pen set. Isn't that cool? This is very interesting. We got metal, 15 metallic. 15 glitter with scent. 9 neon and swirl. And 15 pastel. Oh, I see. Nine neon, nine neon, and nine and six, whatever they mean. Oh, nine. We have Nina, neons and swirls. So it's like, isn't that interesting? Very interesting. So, um, I'm not gonna swatch these. I just want to test them out. Um, see what they, what they're like. I mean, sixty gel pens. Nice color. These are basically a big pen. See, the only thing is with gel pens, they leave kind of like a path. You see what I'm talking about? Let's see, where are we? See how they leave like a little, like a little path? Uh, does that make sense? Uh, so, but hey. I was just watching Lindsay Weirich, and she did um, uh, a, a, a drawing with um, uh, like pens like this. I don't think they were gels, but I'm gonna go back and try to do that. Now these are hard to come apart. Very interesting. I will do. I do have a swatch. Interesting. Can you see that path? You see what I'm saying? Oh, actually, it dries up after. Oh, so, you know what? It does the path, and then it dries. It dries up after a while. Interesting. These would be. I mean, this would be fun. You know, to sit. So I guess they all have their different looks. Uh, they don't really tell you which what is what. Don't really tell you what is what on the pen, so you just kind of get a guess, I guess. Um, I want to try out one of those swirls. Let's try something up. This looks, let's try this. These look metallic. Silver. This would be nice though. Well, I don't know if I want to put it on my regular work because you know, they're, who knows, they're light, fast, etc. But I, I have, um, this is my swatch book. So I'm going to use this for swatches. I showed you some already. Uh, this is the other stuff that I got from, and the color funeral pencils and the art of soils. So I'll swatch these in here. I don't know, because I, who knows how long these will last. But, yeah. These are in, interesting. I don't know. I don't know how long these are going to last. I might swatch them on a... Well, actually, these come out. So, if I don't really want to... If I don't keep them, there's a perforation. I could just get rid of them. I don't see these things lasting very long. That's just the thing. Well... And then the tops won't go back on. So that's those. And then keeping in with the illustration, I, it looks like they're all from the same company. Then here's this um, 
watercolor marker set. That's interesting. Water brush pens, 10 watercolor markers used with watercolor paper. Okay. Um, this is what, let's see. Okay. Oh, there's the brush pen. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. So you, oh, you do get this. So that was nice. Um, I don't know how good they are, but you know, it's nice to have. I have a couple brush pens for brush, um, brush, water, water, brush water brushes from Derwent, which I think would probably be much better than these, but they're kind of small. So, oh, that's teeny, but that would be good for, well, let's open it up. Good for travel, right? Very cool. So this is nice. Oh, that's nice. And then you put the water. How do we get the water in? Ooh. I don't know how I put the water in. <laughs> there are any directions? Hmm. Let's figure that out. Unless, oh, is it here? Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. It's very flimsy, very flimsy. So I think I would fill it with water, but I don't think I would travel with water in it. And even once it's filled, uh, we'll have to see. Ooh, because it doesn't really click now. How tight that's gonna be. This is nice. This is a little bit bigger than the ones that I have. Oh, it's brush pen. So that's nice. I mean, this is great for beginners too. Ooh. I'm gonna break this. It's good for beginners to learn, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. What's your thought um, on beginners learning with? I'll oh, see now, putting this back in there learning with inferior products because i don't know i don't i'm not real good with the i'm not real good with brush pen water pens because um i don't i don't get the gist of it i mean i understand i i don't understand do i have to keep do i have to keep squeezing it when i want to clean it um uh, I don't know. I don't understand when I'm supposed to squeeze the water. That's what it is. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. I would love to know. Um, but that's nice. I mean, it would be great for traveling. And then we have these are watercolor markers. Interesting. So... And we have the chisel chip tip and the fine tip. Okay, let's see. Add a little water to that. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to see how that does, how that goes. That's nice. It doesn't leave a lines. Interesting. That is interesting. Now let's see, let's do this light blue. Can I do it near? Let's see, I just got some watercolor paper. This is, um, I got this paper out because I figured it's markers. You don't need watercolor paper. God, I hate to. Do I have any? Uh... Here we go. Here we go. Just watercolor paper. 
that looks like Canson water, Canson XL, but it's better than nothing, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Yep. See, I don't understand. I'm going to have to learn, I guess. Um, why would you want something else besides watercolor? If you're going to watercolor your watercolor, why do you need watercolor pencils or what now watercolor markers? <laughs> Is there a reason why you would want these instead of just plain watercolor? Um, draw first and then, you know, and then, and then, I don't know. Let's try the um, fine tip. I guess, I guess you can get, there's just, uh, it's just a different media. And then once you get good at doing something like this, it's just different, I guess. I mean, I'll play with them. They look like fun to play with. I don't know, the, they don't, the, the pigment doesn't seem very dark, but I did put a lot of water on there and stuff too, so. That's interesting, so I will. I will swatch these and I will try the pens. But right now, we're just good. We're just, I'm just showing you the haul. Maybe I'll do a separate video with each, with a swatch and a drawing. How's that? Then there was this. I guess they have a lot of manga drawing manga, which I don't know what manga is. I'm going to, have to do Google that. Let me put, let me write that on my list of things that I Google. What is my, I guess it's a type of cartoon, uh, right? So, like these people, these, these, I, I guess I see these people with the big eyes. Remember in like the 60s, there were, what was it, the starving artist? And there was that one um, set of, um, art <laughs> with the bit and it wasn't manga but they it was people with the really big eyes and you know who else um uh love is character remember the love is cartoons with a little naked girl and her little naked boyfriend <laughs> those were cute i digress so anyways let's look at the manga i don't even know if i'm saying it right wrong the manga drawing set you get an artist pen Oh, white highlight pen, illustration markers, blender. And this is why I got this, because I have all those other markers, but I don't have the blender markers. And there's only one. And, but at least, you know, because I've been watching um, with the, um, Lindsay with the blender markers, and it makes sense. I didn't have a blender marker, so I was actually just using a Q-tip with alcohol. But it was interesting. So let's see. We have artist pen, fine liner tip. Okay. Very, oh, that's very fine. It looks like it's already out of ink, unless it's gray. Uh, I don't know how good this is going to be. That's too fine. And it's, it looks, it seems like it's already out. And what I'm going to do is these things are hanging, you know, so maybe these things, you know, they have to be, they have to be, this is how they have to be put away. So maybe once they sit like this for a while, this is a white highlight pen. Okay. Which. Uh, which doesn't work very well. 
course, it might be out of ink too. All right, we'll, we'll let that go. Then we have two fine tip illustration markers. These are very, oh, these are very fine. Which I have a ton, ton of these. Oh, there's like, okay, so we have the fine tip. Oh, let me see if it's on. And then we have the soft brush tip, which I think I would like better. Well, it's just like a, yeah, it's a little thicker. I have a bunch of these as well. Oh, interesting. I think I'm going to have fun with these markers. Um, these are so thin. And then here is the blender illustration marker. So these are the fine tips. Okay, so there's a soft brush tip. Okay, soft brush tip. And then there's the fine tip. Okay, um, let me test out this. I wanna test out, so what Lindsay says is when you're doing the blending, so let's take the blender soft tip. And when you wanna blend something, can you see me? Let me just make sure that you're, if you wanna blend, put this down first, kinda lay, Put that down first and then put the light let's do this light first and then the darker these are really hard to open okay and then See that? And then go back over. This is the blender broad tip. And then there's the, let's do the soft tip. And then kind of blend that. I'm not, I'm not seeing any blend, are you? <laughs> not seeing any, well. And basically what the blend is, is just the alcohol and it's just moving that. Maybe once that dries, let's put this lighter stuff in there. It's a little something. That's something. So when I was testing it with the other markers, actually, I, don't, I didn't have um, the blender blender um, marker and this is me blending without the blender marker I think that's pretty damn good <laughs> so maybe we could do it without the marker maybe that's just it let's do this maybe we don't need the blender marker I don't know oh. to open. Let's see. Hmm. Which blend do you like better? I like this one better. Well, something else to play with. So those are the, these are the illustration markers that have the fine tip and the soft brush tip. Now these markers are illustration markers, but they have the fine tip and the chisel tip. Chisel chest. <laughs> hey, chisel chest. 
Do you remember that is from? God, it was I forget what it was called. This was back in this was back when there we had like Napster. And these guys would call people on the phone and just <laughs> drive it was phone it was phone call pranks. And it always stuck with me. Hey chisel chest. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, the good old days when we had Napster and dial-up phones. So <laughs> this is a fine tip. These are interesting. These, and I don't know if I have these colors already. These might be doubles. Powder pink, maybe not. Salmon pink. I don't think I have that. Tender pink. Ooh, tender pink. So these are gonna go with my um, assortment. Um, brilliant blue, deep violet, and anise. I want to see what this brilliant blue is. It looks, it looks like my color, denim blue. Denim, yes, denim blue. I guess that's what I used. I like me a denim blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is these. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if there's a website that I could go to for tips, tricks, etc., etc. You know, and see what other people do. That's another thing to Google. Uh, distributed in Philadelphia. Made in China. Product conforms to... Okay. Um, I would love to see if there's like a group out there that does... Buy below art supplies, right? So that's, that's those. So, um, of course, you know, the very important, you know, and I've already gotten into the main reason why we go to five below. <laughs> so a couple other things that I got while I was there was I got these sketchbooks. They were each $5. Um, there's 80 sheets in each. It's for pen, pencil, and charcoal. They're, and I did, I tested, I looked at them and they're very thin, but I figured with all this, oh, I, you know how many, you know how many sketchbooks I have? <laughs> and I even have tiny sketchbooks. Um, I'll have to show you the other. I have a whole box of those. They're like about this big. Oh, yeah. And then, so, well, first of all, they don't. Well, they sort Oh, they sort of lay flat. Oh, yeah. They sort of lay flat. But they're really, th the, the paper is very, very thin. So, um, I was wondering how these would be. Here, let me try this. With the markers. I mean, these would be fun. I don't really have a sketchbook for the markers, so here, let's get the drawing set one. So I thought for, for, for um, let's do my down in blue. For, you know, playing with markers and watching TV. Oh, they do post. Oh no, they don't post. Oh, they post, okay. It's nice to know. I just wanted to see. People like big holes in their denim now. And I'm wondering, goes right through, but you know what? I'll always have something here. So I can only use the one page, which is fine. For playing with markers, this will be my marker no notebooks. Something to play with, right? Remember we used to wear the belly shirts? <laughs> Gotta throw these 
to have the, the rivets. Yep. Not bad. I mean, that's okay. I think I'm going to, you know, I'll have to do, I'll do, put some washi tape here. This looks like it's going to come up. Well, maybe I'll leave it alone for now. Let's see, how are these done? They just look like they're binded. I don't think they're sewn in. I think they're just binded. Somehow. I don't know how they're binded. Here's the middle. Oh, oh they are sewn in. Oh, that's nice to know. For five dollars. You know what? If I if I end up liking this markers and stuff. Oh, you know what else? Let's try um colored pencils. Let's get out the brute funers. <laughs> Let's get out the brute funers. Okay, there's nowhere to put stuff now. Yeah. These can be, oh yeah, I could just sit in color and watch TV. Me and my mindlessness with my soaps. Cause they're getting so stupid, they're pissing me. People are pissing me off on my soaps. But we just let it go, we let it go, right? <laughs> let it go okay i like that so i got two of these i mean if i really like it i can go get a couple more because you know how i am if i like it i'll go get like five more <laughs> uh so that's that um let me move this stuff up. i'm gonna need a better place well it's, it's still good um Right now I have um, my markers in here. I have my markers in here, but then I, I put them like this because they need markers and Posca pens need to be um, stored like this. So, so that's that. Um, yeah, they'll fit in there for now. All right, and then, so I got those, and then you know what else I got? I got, um, this was, they got some really cool books. They got some very cool books with really cool illustrations. I Maybe I, I'd like to do some of those illustrations. I got this Art History 101 for $5. Um, I thought this would be really interesting. Middle Ages, Rembrandt, Impressionism. I think it would be really interesting because you know what? Um, You know, in the very beginning, when I started reading um, the March of the Pigment and the History of Color, this is like a real quick his Art History 101 as well, even though they talk about all this stuff too. And maybe get some, in, you know, get some ideas. Look at those clouds. You know, get some ideas. It's kind of cute. This is Florida before people got there. <laughs> uh, Avenue at Middle Harness. Dutch landscapes. No, it's not Florida. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this would be very interesting to read. Paleolithic parietal art. Because I don't have enough books, right? <laughs> but yeah. For five dollars, I really like their book section. It's really cool. Look at this. Oh, this is. Oh, <laughs> looks like an orgy. Henri Matisse. Da -da -da -da. Drawn to ideas relating to sensibility, imagination, avant-garde. <laughs> avant-garde, indeed. God, I always get into like. Clan of the Cave Bear turned into a, like a porn book. Oh, this is this is pretty famous. Uh, I'm always, I don't know. God is trying to tell me something. <laughs> and then I got this herbal handbook, which I think is really nice because I love botanical art. I could just sit here and draw these leaves. I could draw these leaves in the sketchbook. Isn't, isn't this kind of cool? And not only is it are the illustrations really nice, 
You also get to learn about them. Lemon balm. Lavender. Where's the, what was the one that I was really, stinging nettle I saw in here. Um, which, look at that. I want to draw that. I just want to draw that and then color it in with colored pencils or the markers, right? Look at this, liquid soap. You can make liquid soap. Oh, this is interesting. And I got this for five, Ooh, some minty bourbon citrus cocktail. Wineless punch, tarragon. Oh, where did I see the um, sorrel? Salsify. Sage. Saffron, which you won't find around here. Pineapple weed. Japanese style white mustard. Look at these flowers, though. I just want to draw them. You know what else I like to draw is, um, and I, I got this from Laura Gastinger, roots. She draws roots. Uh, so, well, she's a she's a professional illustrator she draws these roots. you got to look look her up on instagram she draws these roots they're absolutely amazing absolutely amazing look at that this nasturtium i i planted them almost every year a couple last few years look at this i just want to draw these leaves on the lemon balm that stuff, oh, these are the leaves, yes. Oh, this is whorehound. I just want to draw those leaves. This, this, I'm, this, the nerd that I am, I just want to draw those, you know? <laughs> now, this doesn't, I this, eh. This, I try to do irises, me. Eh. Chives, I've drawn a million times, a million. So, yeah, so I got these books, too, so. That is my art haul. I'm gonna get into these. I haven't. Oh, I did have a late lunch. So, and all I spent was thirty-eight, thirty-nine dollars, thirty-eight. But I <clears throat> made a donation. To Toys for Tots. Thirty-nine dollars. That's all I spent for this whole big haul. Isn't that awesome? So I'm gonna swatch this stuff. I'm gonna go get in front of the TV, wash my soaps, and play with this stuff. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.